my parents. This week at Lake Lundgren was fantastic and we loved having your kids here. But as a parent to a parent, I have to tell you there's some things you have to know about in terms of what they heard this week so you can take them back into your house and hopefully get some of those great conversations going. This week we talked about who God is, the fact that he's a creator. He created everything and he isn't hiding from them. He's right there. He wants to be found. And so we prayed and we asked the kids to just seek him with everything they have. The next day, on, on Tuesday, we talked about the fact that we're all sinners. Every one of us. That means you. That means me. And so what we need to do is realize that it doesn't matter how much we've sinned, how big our sin, all that sin keeps us out of heaven. And heaven is a real place that God made for us. And it's going to be incredible. We've got a God who has no limit to resources and he's making a home for us there. So we encourage your kid to see themselves the way God does, as sinners in need of forgiveness, and that he alone offers the way to forgiveness. They can't make themselves clean enough. Day three, we talked about the fact that now that we know this, what do we do with it? We have a choice to make. And so we held up two signs, and this would be a great review for your kids because we held these up every day. We held up a sign that says, I obey, so I'm saved. And another one that said, I am saved, so I obey. So let me ask you parents, which one of those is right? If you said, I am saved, so I obey, that's exactly what your camper should say too. We spent a lot of time talking about, yeah, we want to obey God, but we want to obey Him because He saved us first and gave us all these things to obey because there's a blessing in that. We're part of His family. We don't obey to get saved. Be sure to go over that with them again too. The last couple things we talked about is the fact that now that they have this, they need to tell people about it. God didn't plan for them to keep it all to themselves. People are hurting everywhere, living in darkness. God is the light and now your campers are taking a message of hope and light home with them. We had a lot of campers accept Christ and change their eternal destination to heaven this camp trip. We had a lot of campers rededicate their lives to the Lord too. So those campers are leaving here with a lot of light ready to hand out. Encourage that. Ask them about it. And make sure that you encourage them to spend some time each day not getting distracted by all the things they didn't have here this week. Video games, TV, even a lot of sports and stuff. They should have some time to spend with the Lord. As a parent, you can encourage that by just getting involved with them. Maybe do family devos together. You'll both, both learn something new together and probably go closer as a result of it. Last thing to take when you leave here, let your camper ask a lot of questions. When campers ask questions at this stage, they're making their faith their own. Encourage them to ask questions. And if they ask something you don't know, that's okay. Just make a point to find out the answer for it and get the answer back to them. Thanks for letting us have your kids this week. We had a blast. We learned as much as they did, and a lot of what we learned came from them. You've got some great kids.